iOS fans, it's me, Pete, and I'm back with another deck video. This week it's my Skaven, it's Scritch, he's back again, and I'm coming up against Averon. And what am I going to do? I'm going to actually be a little bit defensive with my Skaven, or at least to start with. I'm going to be taking the view that if I can stay away from him, and it shouldn't be too hard for me to stay away from him given my speed, and then I'm just going to try and get some power-ups, and then I'm going to try and one-shot his models. He's only got three of them. If I can get some really nasty attacks in, I can take them out one at a time, bish bash bosh, try and pick them off. It doesn't matter if he kills my guys, because I can bring them back. I'll hemorrhage a few glory doing that, but hopefully overall I'll be able to chop him to pieces in the process. So what are the cards I've taken? Well, I've got the standard, Scritch is the greatest, yes, yes. Hopefully Scritch will be landing some of those blows. I then go for change of tactics. Score immediately, which is very nice. If I'm on guard and I make a charge action. I have got some cards in my deck to put me on guard, so this one should hopefully be an easy one to get. I then got cover ground. Score immediately. If a friendly fighter makes a move of six or more hexes, well, with Skaven, that should be a given. I then gone for hold objectives one, two, three, four, and five. Some people say these are a bit weak to take, they only score you one glory, but you know what? There's a lot of objectives out there that only score you one glory, and if all I've got to do is stand on an objective, that is pretty much a given for me. Skaven can be quite hard to take out once they're inspired, two dice with dodges isn't something to be sniffed at, and you know what? These are going to be the cards that I try and get early on if at all possible, so that I can get some of that easy glory, so I can get some nasty upgrades on my guys and then go in and stickity stick stab them all. I then got Superior Tactician. Robin played this a little while ago in a match against me, and he scored it quite easily. And I think with the score objectives 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and as well as a few of the other ones I've got, Superior Tactician isn't that hard to do. So it'll be interesting to see if that one works out for me. I then got Tactical Supremacy 1 and 2, and 3 and 4. I'm going after objectives 1 to 5 anyway. If I can get some of these on the way as well, that's another 2 glory for each of them, not to be sniffed at and of course, Supremacy. You've got to take Supremacy in an objective deck. The ideal start would be taking, getting something like Tactical Supremacy 1 and 2, Supremacy, and hold objective 1 or 2, and obviously having 1, 2, and 3 all in my half. That'd be great. Thank you very much, Dice Gods, and Card do Gods, Card Dogs? I don't think the Card Dogs care about this at all. They only care about bones. Anyway, onto the gambits. So what have I got? Well, as I mentioned, I'm going to be going for defensive until I can get some upgrades, and then I'm going to go on uber stabby mode. So I've got frenzied stabbing, which is plus one damage for the next attack action. I'm hoping if I can get one of my Skaven powered up a little bit with a couple of plus one damages, I'll be able to one-shot each Stormcast as I go. I've also got momentary boldness. If I've got one of my friendly fighters adjacent to two more, then that fighter can make a charge action. It gives me an extra free charge, which is quite handy. It means I can get a few extra attacks out, out of sequence. I then got Musk of Fear, put a fighter on guard, which will be handy for change of tactics, and it'll obviously auto inspire someone. I've then got Skitter Scurry, double the move characteristic of the first friendly fighter. That'll be very handy for cover ground, and maybe in the last turn for a sudden da mad dash rush, try and grab one of the objectives maybe buried in Robin's half. And then got There Are Always More, which is pretty much a given card in any Skaven deck. Bring one of my Skaven back, thank you very much. The other handy thing about that is I can bring them back, and with the new rules in Nightfalls, they lose any charge tokens. So if I charge with them, and then they kill someone, and then they get killed, I can res them with this, maybe on a starting hex in my opponent's half, right next to somebody, and attack them again! I then got Jewel of Wits, always take this in a 22 card deck, and this is a 22 card deck. I then also got Great Concussion, hopefully I'll be able to use this to keep Robin away from me most of the time, and I can use my speed to attack as and when I want. I then got Ready for Action! Pretty much a given, the ability to do two attacks, hopefully taking out one of his guys, or maybe even two of his guys, I'm not greedy, but if I could take out three of his guys in one, that'd be even better may use it for a extra move depending on how things are going and whether I need to go and jump on an objective, but I like using it for attacks wherever possible. I then got Spoils of Battle. This will be useful in turn with Ready for Action, just in case my big glory starved. If it comes out later in the game and I'm doing very well, it might be a bit of a waste deploy, but you know what, it's not the worst position to be in if you're sitting there going, well I've got all this glory, I don't need this card. First world problems. I then got Trap. The minute I push someone back, I can do one damage to them, and I've got Twist the Knife, which is when I do a successful attack, do one damage to them. Could possibly use that to score three or four damage in one go. Frenzied Stabbing could make it five. That'll make any of his guys targetable. So what have I got for my upgrades? The things I'm going to buy with the glorious glory that I'm going to earn from all of those gambits? Well, my first card is Expendable. 
I haven't used this card a lot before, and on revision I should use it a lot. During an attack action that would cause any damage to the fighter that I put this on, I can remove them, do one damage to my attacker, and my opponent doesn't get any glory. Thank you very much. Festering Blades, one for the Festering Skaven. If I can do a critical attack, then I do two extra damage with his attack. That's two, if I can get a trap in there, or twist the knife, or frenzied stabbing, that's a potentially large amount of damage I could do. I then got a Destiny to meet, a nice easy one to bung on a Skaven near the end of the game, and it's one extra glory. Acrobatic means all my guys will roll three dice to her defense instead of two, apart from Kirk who rolls shields, but if he's on guard he'll roll three as well. We can got Awakened Weapon, re-roll one of my attack dice. Could be very handy once I've got some upgrades on there to try and get that extra crit out that I might desperately need. And Dark Darts. Three swords, only one damage, but it does have cleave, and that does remove the Stormcast shields, which could be very handy for doing a few damage just to whittle them down. I've then got Great Strength and Incredible Strength. If I can get both of those on a fighter with a trap or a twist the knife or a festering blade, there's a lot of plus one damages here I think is the key to take away from this. Light armor, no crits on a defense roll, that's okay, most of my guys getting attacked to hopefully be the expendable ones, so I don't really care if they die, but getting that extra attack dice beforehand will be very handy. I've then got Soul Trap, this one is for Scritch, try and make him less of a target. And then the Formless Key, just like a Destiny to meet really, bang it on somebody just before the end and run them on to an objective and that's an extra glory earned, not bad at all. Now I did um and ah about some of the upgrades that I took, whether I should take um, like demonic weapon or whether I should take some shade glass weaponry or something like that. But I think overall with the great strength, the incredible strength, trap, twist the knife, frenzied stabbing, uh, awakened weapon, light armor, I think I've got enough here to be able to boost some of my scaven up, a few key individuals up to send them on kamikaze runs to each one shot a stormcast in turn. There's only three storm cards, so taking one of them out is a fairly big hit, and they don't come back unlike my Skaven. I can charge a guy in, I can get him killed just after he kills somebody, hopefully, and then I can res them and do it all over again. It really puts the pressure on Robin. If he doesn't want to kill that Skaven off, he risks me being able to use something like Ready for Action or something like that, and it's just going to be a bit of a worry for him. I did consider taking Shard Gale in this deck, but you know what? I decided overall that I'd go with Great Concussion instead. I just don't want Scritch to be close to death than he already is most of the time. So that's my deck. Let me know what you think. I've got three instant score cards in there. I've got one end, third end phase card in there as well. And I'm pretty confident with this. I reckon as long as I can keep my distance from Robin, and I don't think he's going to be able to react immediately, I think he's going to play a bit more turtled up with his Stormcast. But even if he gets a bit offensive, I'll just run away like my Skaven do, jump on some objectives, get some easy glory, and then hopefully upgrade my guys and just stab, stab, stab away at them. Well, it all remains to be seen. The proof will be in the pudding. We shall see you in the City of Shadespire soon. Bye!